Je pense qu'on va commencer. Moi qui vous parle, je suis Clémentine Nenirhavi Hiruke, je suis rwandaise. Je suis membre et fondateur de Kimidia Community Usa Group Rwanda. J'ai commencé à travailler sur les différents projets de Kimedia depuis 2019. Et puis, c'était moi qui dirigeais ou bien qui facilitait les différentes activités de ce projet, Africa Environment Wiki Focus. Oui, en tout cas, c'est avec une grande joie d'être avec vous aujourd'hui, le jour de la clôture officielle des projets Africa Environment Wiki Focus. Je sais très bien que cette période de deux mois a été pour nous une période des activités très, très intense, mais c'est également très riche parce qu'on a beaucoup échangé, on a eu des différentes formations. En tout cas, ça a été une période de tendance et de satisfaction pour nous tous. Alors, permettez-moi d'inviter Florence pour nous parler du mode vertile et nous faire l'introduction d'aujourd'hui. Um, hello everyone, but I, I have a request. Is the translation in English working at the moment? Uh, I'm sorry for... No, because no, I, no. I set up the English channel and I heard nothing in English. Yes, the isn't the translation supposed to be from English to French? It that means that you have to, to, to speak in English. Yes. You can't you can't tra translate from French to, to in, can, yeah. can we can That's we me. first check that the French and English translation? Well, normally it should be original in English and French somewhere. Yes. But uh, yes. I'm not even sure it's currently working. If you could speak and I can hear if there is anyone speaking in English and in French in both channels. Florence, there'll only be um, one translation which will happen in French. So if you click on the French um, channel, Patrick should be translating. But yeah, the, that's, the, the, that's my point. I was clicking on both channels and I hear nothing when I click on both channels. Okay, maybe because um, Clementine was speaking in French. So I don't think... Oh, that's why. So we had yes. no English introduction then. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, yes. so dear Clementine, you need to do it again, but in English this time for all the English speakers. For English speakers, it does. Hey, hey, I say that. that. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm Clementine Nyiravi, member of Wikimedia Community User Group Rwanda. I'm co-founder of that, that of that user group. I started the editing on Wikimedia project since 2018, and now I was the facilitator of the, this project, Africa Environmental Wiki Focus. So I saw that this project was for us a, a, a big journey where we learn a lot to have many different experience exchange. Many of us teach us different things during this period of two months of project implementation. So I would like to invite Florence to tell us about the opening introduction and tell us about the project in the Welcome, Remax and introduction. Thank you very much, Florence, the floor is yours. Thank you, uh, Clementine. So before we start, I would like to ask everyone who is not speaking to please close your microphone. And um, I don't know if uh, maybe uh, Noni can help in closing the microphone of people. Uh, there was somebody who was making some noise and I don't know who it was. So please be careful about that so that everyone can hear what is going on. So thank you very much, Clementine, and uh, welcome everyone. 
I'm very happy to see that we are 23 of us to celebrate this uh, very special moment, yeah. which is the closing celebration of uh, our uh, African Environment Wiki Focus. So very happy to see everyone. And uh, during the next hour, we will try to summarize what happened, uh, the timeline, the different activities that took place. We will get some uh, um, stories as well. So first, Congratulations, everyone. We went through that path. We did the travel and we have some excellent results as well to celebrate. So congratulations. Okay, so what are we going to talk about? Noni, show us please the, the menu of the day, the agenda. So we will have several stage during our activity today. Uh, first, there is this welcome with uh, Clementine and myself. Uh, we have represented of the two lead organizations, Wiki in Africa and uh, um, Wikimedia Côte d'Ivoire. And uh, thank you for the interpretation provided by Patrick as well. Um, we'll have first a quick update provided by Clementine about the different stage we went through during the last two months. Um, we will then have some impact and results preliminary result because as you know we haven't completely finished to clean up the dashboard and the project pages and this will be uh, provided um, uh, a, a little bit later by Emmanuel. Then we will have a sharing of experience with the support of Noni as a facilitator and the presence of five organizers who agreed to share their experience and please take the time to also share some experience, to ask questions or to give some uh, any links that you think are interesting in the chat. We'll have a very short Q&A to close and uh, gratitude and closing by Ayla at the end of the, of the session. So first, before we start, Noni, show us the next slide. I would like to remind you that there is the ongoing um, form, evaluation form, for, meant for the organizer. So, so far we have received uh, four feedback. So this form is specific to for the organizer. You have the link here. We will, we will share the link as well in the chat. Do remember to look at this form and add your own comments about what happened. We will slightly later, probably next week, share another uh, more general form, evaluation form, so, so that every participant to the project can participate to it. So, but this one is about the, the organizer. So please jump in so that we collect the feedback uh, as well. And this will be useful for us all, for the organizing team, and obviously for the, re the final report that we will provide. That's about all I, what I'm going to say. I'm very happy to see all of you. We're now 26, and that's the perfect timing for Clementine to give us a sort of a run through uh, of the timeline of the project. Thank you. Thank you very much, Florence. Let me tell you about the project, the summary of the whole project. I'm going to summarize it. It is a big one. So try to, to talk about it in the five minutes. It is not easy at all. Noni, could you go on the next slide, please? Yeah, uh, this project, Africa Environmental Wiki Focus, as other projects, uh, we, we went through six steps of the project. We did planification, we did launch, we did the monitoring and evaluation of different activities of this project. And now we are on the last one, which is closing. So this project started on the 3rd of March with, with, uh, with Anton. Noni, could you go down? Anton Ibe. Yeah, uh, Anton Ibe. It was on the 3rd March. So we had on the 4th February, we had a call of my, for micro, micro grant application where we received more than 16 demand of for micro grant and the, 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 the deadline to, to do the application was fixed on 20, 28th of February. 
So we had, because of a lot of demand received, we have seven judges who helped us to do select, the selection of 17 microgland among, six, among over 60 demand received. So the, there is, a, I am going to list for, to tell you about um, 13 countries who, who was applied for and received the microgrants. Togo, Botswana, Cameroon, Zimbabwe, Burundi, Rwanda, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Nigeria, Tanzania, Guinea Conakry, Malawi, e Congo. We had only those program from those countries. Um, next, please. We had the many different trainings. Only the three are men. We had a webinar, a, a, the webinar on how to contribute to Wikipedia with Soren Blotsky. It was on the 10th of March. Secondly, we had the training about how to create and manage the dashboard. We, we, this session was, uh, we, we was on this session with Ifemia one, Wandu. It was on 16th of March. And lastly, we had the training about Wikidata with Yamen Bushri. It was on 29th of March. No need, the next slide, please. So we had also many different. Noni, can you help? Noni, can you help uh, mute? Okay. I'm looking for the person. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. This one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. So we had many different activities, local activities organized by those 17 organizers. For the period of two months only, they organized many different editor trainings, photo hunts, and they did a lot of activities about the dashboard cleanup. And every country has tr tried to put all their activities on the project page, which you, you can fi find on our meta page. Here yeah, below you have the link which we could share with you after. So we had a chance to, to, to go through the Evenomad de Mi Parcours. I don't know how to say it, the Mi Parcours event. This event was, we was with Emmanuel from IC Cote d'Ivoire. She helped us to know what about the project, what, what have been done during that period about the project. We had also the period, the, the period of Bila AAA evaluation. We are uh, we still doing cleaning the, the dashboard because we didn't finish yet. We are now on the session of the, the of closing ceremony. We are now on 16th of May. That is the event which we are running now. So we, we, we sent and distribute the, the organizer evaluation form. Each organizer has received the form and try to fill all information asked on the form to do evaluation of the project, how they see it, which comment, which hindrance, many different questions asked on the, in the form. We also prepare the form about the, the, the evaluation form for everyone, which will be open for everyone who participated for, in this project. It will be sent shortly after 
after after today we will start send, sending that, that that form to everyone who will need to to feel who who participated in different activities of the project and for the we are working now on the final reports we didn't receive all report from organizers but we still working they still working on it they work on final on financial report and on general reports so i think for the the for the the project briefly that that's all let me call emmanuel to talk about the project results she's going to tell us about all results of the project emmanuel could okay. you come Hello. <clears throat> the floor is yours no need please keep going down yeah impact in the results Emmanuel, the floor is yours. Okay, good evening, everybody. I'm Emmanuel. I don't know if the camera is fine, but I'm happy and I'm very glad to be with you at this uh, event. And I'm um, from Cote d'Ivoire. I am the project manager of uh, Wikimedia Cote d'Ivoire. I'm also part of the staff of Africa Environment Focus Match uh, 2003. Then about the statistic, we all know that these statistics um, have um, all the information from the third, from the third match to 20 April. Then we receive 61 requests for a micro grant, and uh, the amount was among. 1500 to 1500 uh, uh, US. From this request, we selected 17, um, 17 uh, demands, and the total amount that we distribute was uh, 20,100. Uh, 25 dollars. 16 organizers organizers have um, joined their programs on the dashboard. And these organizers also developed activities in their country that uh, permit to produce uh, content on Wikipedia, on Wikidata, and also on um, Wikimedia Commons. And by these activities, we get the results that will, will come. Please, let's go to the next slide. Okay. Then um, in Wikipedia, we have 255,030 articles that has been created. Also, seven thousand two hundred and eighty seven articles that have been modified through this campaign we also we also have four hundred four thousand sorry four thousand sixty hundred and thirty seven image pictures that has been downloaded on, on Wiki, wikimedia commons and also on wikidata we get um, 11,017 uh, data that have been pro produced in Wikidata. All the, these, um, these uh, data are on the dashboard of Wikimedia. I think it's, it is um, a right place to congratulate all the attendees, all the, all the all the all the attend all the organizers that has pro produced all these the results. Uh, thank you, and uh, we still have been happy for this time. And uh, I think I will give the floor to Noni. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Emanuela, for the statistics. Um, so just briefly about the organizers' experience, I do want to say thank you so much to the five um, organizers that availed themselves, Obi, Aman, Valentin, Kingsley, and Sikle. Um, Just briefly from, I hope you're all here. I haven't actually checked. Obi, Aman, Valentin, Kingsley, Sikle, are you all here? Yes, I'm here. Kingsley is here. Kingsley is here. I'm checking quickly. Bonjour. Is that Aman? Bonjour, Aman. Bonjour. Valentin, Monsieur. I'm here too. Great. Is that Obi? Yes, I'm here too. Okay, great. So I think everyone's here, perfect. Yep. So just briefly from all five of you, could you please um, introduce yourselves? We know the name and the surname and the country, but please tell us a little bit about yourself, starting with you, Obi. Okay. My name is Obi Ezilo. Um, I'm a Wikimedian. I've been a Wikimedian for up to five, six years now. And I've been editing and learning and growing on the platform. I'm equally a co-founder of Google Wikimedia years ago. Sorry, Florence, you wanted to say something? Yeah, if, if, uh, if uh, some of you can switch on your camera, the one speaking, that would be nice. If you can't, you cannot, but if you can, that would be better. Okay, can you see me now? Yep. Great. Okay. Okay, so I've been a Wikimedia co founder of Evo Wikimedia User Group and the Wiki for Senior Citizens Network. Um, I'm equally a teacher, an Evo language teacher. I read Evo language, that's my background uh, of education. And well, that's few I can say. I'm creative when it comes to teaching. And uh, I like learning. I like growing. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Obi. Um, Aman, would you please introduce yourself? Feel free to um, obviously uh, introduce yourself in French. Um, but if you feel comfortable in English, um, also please do so. Bonjour, Nomi. Moi, je, je vais parler plutôt en, en français. Je... Est-ce que ça peut aller? Yeah. Noni, can you, can you uh, just remove the, maybe the organizer experience whilst they are presenting themselves? I remove the screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who is actually translating uh, English speakers, uh, French speakers in English? So we don't have that, but maybe um, Clementine, could you please help us with Aman? Yes, I, I can. I, I, I could try. Yeah, I Thank can try. <laughs> Thank you. OK, so I can go. I can take the word. Yes, you can go on. D'accord. En tout cas, merci beaucoup. Euh, malheureusement, euh, ma langue maternelle, c'est le français et je me sens encore plus à l'aise à intervenir là-dedans. Ce que je peux dire rapidement, c'est que dans le cadre de, de Africa Environnement Wiki Focus, nous avons au niveau de la Côte d'Ivoire travaillé sur le projet Visibilité du climat en Côte d'Ivoire. Désolé, Aman. Désolé, on vous a parlé de vous présenter, c'est l'homme. Ce n'est pas de présenter votre expérience. Alors, merci. Si, si, je suis Amand Ado euh, de la Côte d'Ivoire. Je suis euh, contributeur Wikipédia ivoirien et j'interviens au, au sein de la communauté Wikimedia Côte d'Ivoire aussi, où j'ai quelques responsabilités euh, en tant qu'auditeur, euh, commissaire au compte chez nous ici. Voilà. He said that he is Amand Ado from Wikimedia Côte d'Ivoire. That's all. <laughs> thank you so much. It sounded a, a very long in French, but thank you so much, Aman. Um, Valentin, please, please take it away. Hello, bonsoir. Est-ce que vous m'entendez? Oui. 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 
Voilà, euh, bonsoir tout le bon. monde. Euh, Est-ce euh... est que si cela est là, he could do the translation more than me? I, I will do. Yeah. I will do the translation. Don't worry. Thank you. I can do it. You just have to pay me Clementine's salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fine. I'm joking. Go ahead, my lord. <laughs> Valentin, yeah, it's okay. Ah, ok. Euh, merci, je suis euh, Valentin Asibou, je suis euh, Wikimedia de RDC, je suis euh, euh, un des membres fondateurs de Wikimedia RDC. Je contribue sur le mouvement depuis en, en 2017 et dans le cadre de cette campagne, j'ai été euh, envoyé, je peux dire, par les Zago pour pouvoir mener la campagne. Uh, African Anglo Americans au niveau du pays. Merci. Thanks, Valentine. May we get a, a just briefly a, a, a thingy, a translation on that, please? Florence? <laughs> Uh, sorry, since Cesar said he would say it, I, I wasn't paying super attention. Uh, I think he said he joined back in 2017, I hope. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I was trying to close some yeah, stuff and I that's didn't. That's what he said. Me. And he also said um, he is one of the co founders of uh, Wikimedia, uh, DR Congo. Yeah. And yeah, his name is Valentin Nasibu, like uh, most of us know him already. I think that's basically all he said. Great. Thank you. Kingsley, may we please get a brief introduction from you as well? Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, yep. we can hear you. You can go on. Yeah, um, my name is Kingsley in Kemjika Abasali. I'm a Nigerian and uh, also a member of Igbo Wikimedians user group. I have always loved contributing to Wikimedia projects and um, I've also participated in various Wikimedia events, trainings, and contests, and I'm very happy to be a part of um, this wonderful event. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kingsley. Sitre, please take it away. Hey, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Telesile. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm a school librarian, and um, as of Wiki, I am still a baby. It's been three years now, and I'm still trying to learn a few more things. <laughs> I think basically that's what I am. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Let me quickly reshare my screen so we can jump straight into the questions. Starting uh, with you, Obi, uh, just quickly, what did you learn from the African Environment Wiki Focus? Okay. Um, I learned a lot. Um, funny enough, I never really get to know that food scarcity has anything to do with uh, climate change. But during this project, I was able to realize that how we grow our crops, how we uh, protect our crops, how we protect our environment has a lot to do with our well-being. I equally learned um, causes of climate change, how it can affect us, the impact on our environment and on and, and our well-being. I also got to learn about different individuals because we worked on environmentalists and climate change as individuals that are fight to protect our environment, help to keep our environment safe, ranging from a 20-year-old uh, Adekunle who initiated the um, school strike initiative She's from Austrian State. The school strike uh, strike initiative has to do with every Friday they will skip classes to go and do a kind of um, demonstration, telling our government how to help to protect our environment. Every Friday they come together 
and do a kind of demonstration. So uh, it's it's very interesting. It's very interesting. I also learned about um, how uh, climate change, whether it's man-made or natural, if you know everything, everything has to have a balance in the form of um, flooding. When it floods a lot, there's effect it will cause on the environment. It could be on our crops. It could be on um, on uh, population displacement, where you have people leaving their homes because there's too much flood. Maybe flood has carried their homes or uh, destroyed their environment. There's also effect on of erosion, where uh, communities can be divided into two, and you begin to fight this erosion, or you begin to have two communities. You don't know how to deal with it. I've also learned um, that felling of trees also affects our environment. I never knew that. So I've learned a lot of things. I really learned a lot of things. And I hope to continue learning. Thank you. Thank you so much, Obi. That's exciting to know that you've learned a few things which you could actually also pass on um, to your students as well. So thank you so much for sharing yeah. that. And over yes, to you, yes. Kingsley. Yes. Over to you, Kingsley. What have you learned um, through the Africa Environment Wiki Focus? Um, thank you very much. Um, I've actually learned a lot of things, and um, particularly this um, Africa I mean. Wiki project uh, exposed me to a diverse uh, environmental challenges not just within my country, but now across the world, because I was uh, given the opportunity to facilitate such a project. So I, I engaged project that does not just limit to Nigeria, but across the entire uh, Africa region. And uh, in fact, it was uh, an eye opener because um, I discovered the range of uh, ecosystems, uh, uh, conservations efforts, and some other sustainable uh, practices being implemented across the continent. Uh, I also got to know more about the connections between the environment and the community and um, the importance of uh, preserving our natural resources, um, particularly in, in, in Africa. You know, it, it's really been an exciting one and uh, it, it's really exposed me to a lot of ideas and opportunities and also <laughs> every other thing that follows. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kingsley. Uh, and a question to you, Aman. Um, I know this will be translated, but the question is, I know obviously you didn't, I'm assuming that you did not do much by yourself and you actually had help and assistance with maybe other participants or you were part of a group. So my question to you is, um, in, in what way did the, this project help your team grow? Uh, Patrick, are you able to please help with, with that question? Can you display it again, the question? Yeah. I'll display it. Yeah. Awesome. The question for Aman, please. Pardon, voilà. Um, pour aborder la question sur um, en quoi uh, le projet a fait évoluer l'équipe, ce qu'il faut dire, c'est que au départ, uh, le projet Visibilité pour le climat en Côte d'Ivoire visait à renforcer l'engagement des jeunes sur les questions liées à l'environnement à travers les contenus sur le climat uh, sur Wikipédia et d'autres projets frais. Alors, on peut dire que le projet a contribué à affirmer euh, les jeunes comme des acteurs à part entière, compétents et informés sur les politiques environnementales et qui leur permettent d'être en fait des, de jouer un rôle sensibilisateur. Ce qu'il faut dire aussi, l'ensemble des activités du, du projet que nous avons mené a mobilisé directement 11 contributeurs 
Et euh, ces contributeurs-là ont créé et amélioré des articles euh, sur des sujets liés au climat et à l'environnement en Côte d'Ivoire. Aussi, ce qu'il faut relever, euh, c'est que le projet a mobilisé indirectement euh, environ une dizaine de, de personnes de la communauté Wikimedia Côte d'Ivoire qui étaient soit des bénévoles ou soit du personnel salarié qui ont aidé dans la logistique, la communication, la gestion comptable du projet. Donc en août, euh, pour donner un plus-value aux participants du projet, ils ont bénéficié d'un atelier d'initiation à Wikidata ce qui a renforcé leurs capacités et leur permet aujourd'hui de référencer des, des données liées au climat sur Wikidata. Et donc, euh, ça a été très, 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 très intéressant, surtout en termes de formation, à l'idée d'apprendre davantage sur, dans le cadre de ce projet. Donc, voilà un peu ce que je peux dire sur l'équipe et toute la communauté qui a travaillé autour du projet. Thank you. Thank you, Aman. Um, Seslaus, may you please just, just a few points um, translate to English, please. Yeah, so Aman was um, emphasizing on how the project was an opportunity to increase the capacity building focus of young people, as um, the Wikimedia Code d'Ivoire has uh, that as uh, one of its main objectives. He also mentioned that it was an opportunity to expose um, the young people to environmental policies, both in Africa and uh, in the country, um, Cote d'Ivoire itself. And uh, he, of course, uh, made em an emphasis on uh, something like um, gaining uh, Wikidata related skills that a lot of young people had this um, project as their initiation into numerous projects like uh, Wikidata and uh, Wikipedia and other um, sister projects of the Wikimedia. So yeah, that's basically uh, what he said. Thank you. That's very yeah. cool that um, people were introduced to the Wiki world through this project, because it's a very important project. Um, climate change is real. Um, so thank you so much for that, Aman. And then same question um, to you, Sitle. Um, how did this project initiative help your team to grow? Okay, uh, thank you for the question. Um, as you all know, I guess some of you here know, we are still growing in Zimbabwe and we we want to grow in this wiki uh, world. <laughs> so uh, my community, we, we're happy to engage in this uh, project as well. So what my community uh, did was they were happy to know that when it comes to wiki space, there is, it's not about editing the already existing articles about people or small things, but we can engage ourselves in big projects like this that can actually go a long way and impact a great change to our country. Uh, actually, we realize that we climate change is not a, a, a topic that people talk about. It's not something that is, is the topic out there. And at the end of the day, we, we were actually happy to see, okay, so people talk about it, but not in a serious manner, so to say. And actually, we, we have two issues that we didn't also know that they are part of climate change. That is the illegal mining and the poor waste management that is in our town specifically. So we, we, we grew knowing that we can actually make a change through wiki media. That's the greatest thing. And we can actually make a change because we actually went out there there is someone talking. Yeah, it's Vincent, uh, Vincent Sunday. I am trying to mute. Yeah. Yes. Sorry about saying, that. We actually went out there. All right. We actually went out to the community uh, near us, just a few uh, kilometers away, to just to make them aware that what they are doing is actually besides being illegal is actually destroying our climate 
they were actually happy to know that we, we can actually uh, create awareness. But anyway, it's not that easy for them to change because of their own reasons. But as my community, we realize that we can actually make a greater difference that is known and seen because maybe uh, we can't just sit down and type and edit, but we can actually go out there and do something and create awareness, engage with these um, climate change agents that we actually met. It's actually something nice so that maybe someone can concentrate specifically on the climate issues and edit and put more uh, and actually create more articles on climate uh, change. So I think that's uh, the way it has helped my team to grow since we are actually planning on having our own community user group. So I think it's, it has actually helped us. Thank you. It's a mystery. <laughs> that is a mystery. There's Sorry only three that. people with the microphone open, yeah. so I don't. I don't know. That was weird. But thank you so much for that, Sikler. Thank you. Um, it's it's nice to know that this initiative or project has planted the seed for 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 things that are bound to sort of grow, bound to add to articles of um climate change, etc. Because I personally did not I wasn't really aware, as you've mentioned as well. Um, your community wasn't fully aware of um the agents and 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 what's out there. So I'm glad that this initiative was able to plant that seed. And um, over to you, Valentine. Um, what brought you joy whilst uh, um, taking part or being involved in the African Environment Wiki Focus? Patrick, tu peux traduire la question? Ah oui. Uh, you should the question. La joie? pendant euh, le projet en entier, bien, pendant la, la campagne. C'est Slos Ah oui, vous m'entendez Oui, oui, là, maintenant, je t'attends. OK. Qu'est-ce qui vous a apporté de la joie à l'heure du projet Ah, oh, OK. Euh, encore une fois, merci pour la parole accordée. Euh, personnellement, donc... Euh, Ma plus grande joie en tant que en tant qu'organisateur est de voir euh, comment nous avons pu contribuer sur euh, la production des de contenus en rapport avec euh, l'environnement, en rapport avec les climats sur euh, sur le mouvement Wikimedia. Parce que euh, quand on parle surtout de l'environnement, quand on parle par exemple du changement climatique, euh, des fois de notre côté, nous on pensait que ben il y a un groupe de gens qui qui sont là pour parler de tout ce qui est de l'environnement et nous autres, on, on s'en fiche un tout petit peu. Mais bon, à travers euh, cette campagne, ça nous a vraiment donné cette idée-là, cette grande joie de pouvoir participer aussi euh, à l'amélioration de notre environnement, de, de, de fournir des informations qui sont euh, vraies, sans, et vérifiables, qui vont permettre à tout le monde de pouvoir préserver euh, la nature. Et à, à, Ma, encore une grande joie que j'ai parce que euh, c'est que ça m'a beaucoup étonné parce que des fois on contribue beaucoup plus sur tout ce qui est en rapport avec la politique et, et tout ce qui va avec mais à travers euh, ces projets quand j'ai effectué d'abord des recherches pour voir euh, qu'est-ce que je peux donner par exemple euh, aux participants de pouvoir faire ou contribuer euh, en rapport avec les thèmes qui ont été choisis je me suis rendu compte qu'il y a il n'y avait pas vraiment un article qui parle, par exemple, des climats de la RDC. Donc, vous pouvez vous imaginer. Et aujourd'hui, à travers cette campagne, donc ma plus grande joie, c'est de voir aujourd'hui, quand vous tapez euh, sur Wikipédia climat de la République démocratique du Congo, vous avez déjà un article qui vous présente les climats de la RDC. Donc, euh, c'est vraiment une grande joie. Vous avez des articles qui vous parlent, qui vous présentent une, qui les climats, par exemple, de, de notre capitale, Kinshasa. Donc, c'est vraiment euh, une grande joie de notre côté. Et du côté euh, de la sensibilisation, ça nous a aussi donné la joie de voir aussi comment est-ce que nous avons sensibilisé les gens sur euh, l'environnement, sur le changement climatique, 
des fois, ça, ça a étonné aussi des participants de voir que les jours qu'on avait lancé notre campagne, on avait fait appel à un spécialiste de l'environnement. Et les gens étaient un peu curieux pour savoir, ah bon, on est venu pour faire du wiki, et les, les, les gars de l'environnement, qu'est-ce qu'ils est venu faire ici? Donc, c'est vraiment une grande joie de voir ces, ces spécialistes-là venir sensibiliser les, les participants, sensibiliser la communauté pour tout ce qui est en rapport avec l'environnement. Donc, c'est un peu ça. Merci. Merci, Valentine. C'est cela. Please, just briefly. Valentine, je ne sais pas si tu, si tu travailles chez TV5 Monde. C'était long et trop rapide. <rire> Désolé. Euh, Laurence, si euh, peut-être il y a des lignes qui m'échappent, euh, tu peux contribuer aussi. So, um, ah. uh, Valentine oh. was saying that as an organizer, that it was indeed a pleasure uh, uh, his, for his community to have participated in the campaign uh, that had to do with documenting uh, our environment and climate change on Wikipedia. He went ahead to actually share how it's almost a very vague topic that is uh, almost uh, confusing to approach. But through the uh, campaign, there was an opportunity for for his community to uh, be sensitized um, properly on how to go about the environment and climate change. He also mentioned that before now, uh, I think there was no report for our, uh, for DR Congo about um, climate, but um, during the course of the campaign, they were able to achieve that. A felicitation, Valentin, c'est pas facile. So, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's really um, gave his community an opportunity to be part of documenting uh, climate change and the environment on Wikipedia, which on a, on a different day would have been a very big um, topic to approach. But through this, it was like uh, someone held their hands all throughout the campaign and showed them how. Great. There was another. There was another element that he added that I thought was interesting is that they uh, have called for a specialist, yes, an yes, expert to, to come. come yes, yeah. To train, yes, yes. And that was that brought some attention uh, from the from the participants, and that probably gave some brought some energy to the group. So that's a. It's an interesting takeaway because I remember when we were looking at the. At the proposition, uh, I've been wondering whether it would have a, an impact to call for an expert to come and give a, a talk. It's an interesting feedback. That's a great one. Well done. Well done, Valentine. Thank you so much. And then my final question to all five of the organizers. Um, is there maybe a personal story that you would like to share, um, starting with you, Obi? Um, I, I don't think so. I don't think I have a personal story regarding the wiki focus. Not a problem. Um, <laughs> Kingsley, is there anything that you would like to share with us, please? Um, well, uh, personally, during, during the event, we, we invited an expert in climate change and environment. She is actually an environmental biologist and also a lecturer in um, applied microbiology. So I, I, thought, I, I think I picked one or two things from, from what she taught us on that day. Uh, uh, I think she made a concluding statement that as, as man strives to provide solutions to human wants, the resources are depleted, thereby endangering the ecosystem. So this is a very, very strong statement that when I heard about it, I, it reminded me that in, in as much as I personally strive to meet up with my daily needs and wants, I should also bear in mind that I could put a lot of people's lives at risk. So, you know, because we live, we live in the same environment, people surrounding me, and if I do not properly manage the resources within my environment, it also um, affects people around me. And I think it was a very good takeaway, a take home from, from the experience I had at the event personally. 
Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Kingsley. Um, and over to you, Aman. Oui, merci. Uh, je pense que j'ai quand même une petite histoire que je pourrais partager. C'est c'est surtout que à un moment de la réalisation du projet, on a eu le sentiment de ne pas avancer. Et parce que les fonds tardaient à venir, euh, à nous pas venir pour la mise en œuvre des activités. Et c'est là qui a été très important l'accompagnement que nous a apporté Wikimedia Côte d'Ivoire, qui s'est saisi de, de la question et nous a apporté un préfinancement pour mener les premières activités. Donc, je trouve que c'est une collaboration qui, qui a été très solidaire et en plus du préfinancement, nous avons bénéficié de, de la part de Wikimedia de logistique en termes de salles, vidéos, projecteurs, etc. Parce qu'à un moment donné, il fallait réaménager le budget, puisque le budget de départ était différent du budget qu'on avait reçu. Donc cet appui nous a permis d'être résilients et à faciliter la gestion du projet à un moment donné. C'est cet esprit euh, d'objectif commun là sur, euh, sur l'action Wikifocus qu'il qu faut relever et qui renforce aussi le sentiment d'appartenance à une communauté comme Wikimedia Côte d'Ivoire. Donc, il est donc très important de saluer cette collaboration qui, pour moi, a été très, 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 très efficace. Autre chose peut-être qu'il faut mettre en avant, c'est la difficulté dans ce, dans ce projet a été la, la barrière de langue. Et là, il faut le dire parce que, euh, par exemple, quand on se retrouve dans des, dans des rencontres comme ça, ce qui est plus intéressant pour nous, c'est que les interactions des uns et des autres puissent enrichir les autres et puissent nourrir un peu euh, l'expérience des uns et des autres. Bon, malheureusement, la barrière de langue, quand on se rencontre dans des, des activités pareilles, pour nous, a été quelque chose qu'il faut prendre en compte. Voilà. On n'a pas... Moi, moi, par exemple, je n'ai pas totalement appris de l'expérience des autres parce que, voilà, il y a ce petit truc-là qui... C'est un aspect à prendre en compte pour la suite d'autres projets pour qu'il y ait une certaine inclusion un peu truc en tout cas ben ça, ça a été une belle expérience au niveau local et voilà merci merci, merci Amand so Amand was uh, expressing how challenging it was initially that they almost gave up when they didn't get their funds when they had expected it but um, that the Wikimedia community, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, was able to meet them halfway with uh, some funds to have helped them uh, run their first activity. And that, of course, uh, showed him that this project indeed engineers and encourages um, collaboration. And of course, despite them having the need to rework their budget and all, they still were able to be resilient, which is what he encourages all of us to actually be in the course of running related projects, resilience, and try to see what you started through to the end. And he also emphasized the uh, importance of, you know, making sure that we are diversified in terms of languages on projects. He just expressed how more interesting it could be if everyone uh, participating could enjoy whatever um, language he or she understands uh, being used on the course of, let's say, sessions like this and uh, whatnot that has to do with the project. Yeah, I think that's basically that. Thank you. Uh, I, I'd, li I'd like to provide a, a feedback on this uh, yeah. about the language. And I'm in particular providing it because I, uh, in the organizer form, somebody uh, commented that um, there was a uh, um, very, uh, I don't remember the, the exact term, but um, in the feedback, there was a request about the multilingualism of the global team. And I was personally quite shocked to hear that it was, uh, there was a very negative uh, note about the multilingualism of the global team. Because um, from the start, we have two organizing teams, one of which is French, the other one is primarily English speaking. But in both teams, there are English speakers and French speakers. 
So I don't think there might be many uh, global organizations which can actually propose the two organizing team to have languages both in English and French. So I thought it was a bit, uh, a bit, a bit tough as a feedback. I, please remove your microphone. Uh, but aside from that, there was a, it's, it was it was very difficult for us to manage everything in, in both English and French. And this was a requirement that was asked from us uh, from the start to make sure that we would have uh, people across the different languages. And I can tell you, it is very complicated to set up a project in two languages. And it, it is frustrating for us as well. And it is also frustrating to manage to get everything translated and to share experiences. And it's, a, it's an open question to me whether we should actually continue doing it this way or we should limit ourselves in the future doing only English speaking or only French speaking because of all the difficulties that are all associated with that. So uh, if there are more people who want to give some feedback afterwards on, on this topic of multilingualism, I would definitely be interested because I don't have uh, a clear answer and a, a clear solution to, to this uh, to this issue, unless we decide to separate entirely the, the linguistic um, groups in two different projects. Uh, there's Wilson with the with the with the hands yeah. up. Yeah, Wilson has had his hand up yeah. all day. Awesome. Uh, uh, thank you, Noni, first for doing an amazing job. Uh, congratulations to everyone who's graduating. Congratulations for all of the awesome awesome work you have all done. And uh, also, I would like to add to what Slobans has said. However, I did raise my hand originally because I had a story that has Obi as one of the actors. So I was surprised when she said she didn't have a story. So I said, if it was possible to share my story in her space. And uh, if that is possible, Noni, I'll just go ahead and say, uh, in the course of the AE Focus events, I'd often get messages from Obi about Wiki Loves Africa. And then when I probe, when I examined the question, it was AE. And then I would say, no, they're not the same thing. You know, they're different. And I'd say, oh, there's another group on Telegram for AE. You know, they, they take a look at what they're doing and uh, try, you would see because of the theme was climate and weather on both sides. I understood why it was creating some sort of confusion. Uh, but I also, I, 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 I could empathize because she was handling a very sensitive community, the Wiki senior citizens, the elderly people. And uh, I, I must commend Obi sincerely because she managed to deliver on both sides for Wiki Loves Africa, for AE. And she, she was running a lot of physical events, was running online events. Some of the events she did, I, I have to tell you, I was worried for her, I have to say, because I thought, how was she going to pull this off with this community, especially because I expect that they'd have some difficulties with tech and things like that. But at the end of the day, it was all awesome. Last week, she held a program teaching the elderly people how to take photographs. And that's, that's huge, if you ask me. So uh, for me, I, I want to commend Obi for the work she's done with that community and what she's doing, and do also to encourage her to, as much as possible, try to uh, get many of the community members to get involved with organizing so that the work of organizing is reduced on her and she doesn't burn out and, uh, uh, too quickly. And uh, it's easier to give directions and just make sure that the supervision and quality is sustained rather than trying to run, to run around doing all of the basic things. I imagine that she was really stressed in the course of uh, doing all of that. But aside that, I think it was an awesome job. And to Florence's comments about uh, a multilingual program, Florence, I'm actually lying down waiting for a massage, hoping that I'll recover from the challenges of organizing multiple language events and uh, struggling with English and French and Portuguese and Arabic. And then you are trying, Arabic. To, and then you're trying to understand, uh, okay, who should we prioritize? And then, <laughs> he, well, of course, your bias because your English wants to make you focus on the English, but then you have to ask yourself sometimes, what if I was in English? Would it be fair if I made this publication only in English? 
how would I feel as a French speaking member of the Wikimedia community? And every time I'm on the Telegram channel, they only post publications in English. I'd feel, I'd feel, I'd feel excluded. And so that drives me all the time to go the extra mile to provide publications and communications in multiple languages. But I have to tell you, it's not easy at all. It's super stressful. It's also very, very draining. And uh, I think uh, it doesn't look like it will get better in the coming days, but uh, I'm hoping that at some point we would have Wikimedians who may dedicate themselves to ensuring that there is seamless communications across languages. You know, it could be, it could be a new field we might try to observe or try to explore. You know, Wikimedians who are only concerned about translating stuff from existing languages into other languages, especially when it's about communications. Uh, I'm hoping that's something that will happen in the future. Otherwise, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Wilson. Thank you. Uh, I think there's Obi who want maybe to react and quickly Obi because it's already six and we need to wrap up afterwards. Obi, you're on. Um, um, I want to thank I want to thank Wilson for the sweet words. Well, as a teacher, I manage a lot of classes, so this one is not a problem. Uh, I want to also let you know that I'm training. I'm organizing train. I've been organizing trainings for some of the senior citizens that I feel that can carry, help me carry the group. Because you know it's a, a new group, so you have to teach them what to do, how to do it before you now start believing it for them. It's not that I'm running it alone. The only stress I have, the only stress I have is finances because I've not seen my, my funds till, up till now. So I've been using my personal money to run the program, but I yeah. hope that I know Florence will deliver. So I'm we'll, not afraid we'll, of that. We'll, find, she will we'll end up she's... finding a solution. <laughs> I'm sure we will find a solution in the end. Still hunting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank God you are yes. the only one in this situation, but you are in this situation and we need to fix no that. No problem. Definitely. Don't and worry. We'll take care of it. Yeah, don't so worry. Thank don't you. Really so care much. Thank you for advancing all the cash. Thank you for that. All of you, by the way. Uh, thank you. Uh, back to Noni. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wilson, Obi, and Florence. Um, I would love to hear if Sitle and Valentin have any personal stories that they'd like to share. I know we are over time, but just quickly, just quickly, quickly, Sitle, hey. is there anything that you would like? Any personal story that ouais. you'd like to share? Ouais. Okay. Uh, oh, merci yes. encore pour la parole. Okay. Sorry, Valentine. Ouais. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, C'est slow. So je je, je serai un peu là cette fois-ci. Alors, uh, une histoire personnelle à partager. Uh, de notre côté, je peux dire de l'organisation, c'était c'était ok. Euh, on n'a pas vraiment eu de difficultés, on a eu la chance d'avoir réussi l'argent à temps. Donc, euh, d'abord, nous, on voulait féliciter l'équipe organisatrice de la campagne par rapport à cela. Euh, une histoire personnelle, personnellement, ça, ça a été un plaisir surtout de voir, euh, de pouvoir euh, sensibiliser les gens sur le plan environnemental, vu que euh, aujourd'hui, il y a eu beaucoup d'inondations, surtout en RDC, que ce soit à, à Kinshasa, où il y a eu beaucoup de morts. À Goma, dernièrement, je suis sur le territoire de Kaé. Aussi à Kisangani, il y a de l'eau du fleuve qui, qui ne cesse de monter. Donc, euh, participer à cette campagne, ça nous a donné cette opportunité de pouvoir parler à la population. Parce que quand il y a, par exemple, la pluie, il y a inondation, c'est parce qu'il y a, par exemple, des salités qui ont été jetées euh, sur des, des caniveaux qui n'ont pas permis à ce que de l'eau puisse couler pour, pour éviter ces drames. Alors, euh, sensibiliser la population dans ce sens-là, ça a été vraiment une très bonne chose pour nous. Et, et surtout, euh, à un moment donné, nous aussi, on, on s'était dit, on pensait comme si on n'avançait pas. Bon, C'était par rapport surtout à la suppression d'articles, euh, vu que dans l'activité, on, on avait aussi des nouveaux. 
il y a eu pas mal d'articles qui ont été supprimés sur Wikipédia. Donc, euh, ça nous a quand même donné une idée, surtout aussi de rectifier les tirs sur le plan organisationnel et savoir comment manager et gérer. Par exemple, quand on a des nouveaux dans un atelier, euh, de, de leur donner, par exemple, des tâches qui sont, qui, qui sont, un, peu, euh, qui sont un peu simples, pas directement des tâches de, de la création d'un article, par exemple. Donc, c'est vraiment une leçon que nous, sur le plan organisationnel, on a pu avoir. Et du coup, vu que les articles ont été supprimés sur Wikipédia, on, on, on a pu basculer aussi pour aller du côté de Wikidata afin de pouvoir... Euh, surtout atteindre l'objectif et parce qu'on avait un target, c'est d'avoir créé ou encore amélioré des articles entre 40 ou 50. Et ça a été un plaisir pour nous parce qu'on a atteint notre objectif. Surtout, merci beaucoup pour l'opportunité que vous nous avez donnée de pouvoir participer à cette campagne et de contribuer sur le plan concernant des questions à trait avec l'environnement. Merci. Merci. C'est cela. Um, yeah, so he was um, actually expressing his happiness about the organization locally. Uh, apparently, they were one of those who got their funds early, and they are very grateful for that. And uh, he also um, expressed his happiness for the sensitization that the, the project has actually um done in their communities for instance uh there is serious flood happening across um diaro congo lately especially at uh, kinshasa so such uh, sensitization has uh, given them an opportunity to know what to do to of course uh, prevent the possibility of such um environmental um degradation and then he also uh, mentioned how um, it improved the organizational skills per se, as he mentioned that writing an article might not be the you know, first and easiest uh, fit to take care of, that there might be other organizational elements to put in place uh, first before doing that. Generally, he, he's, he's grateful that um, they were given the opportunity to, to be one of the local organizers and participate in the campaign. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Valentine. Sitre, over to you. Okay, thank you. Maybe mine is, uh, uh, yes, it's a story, but I think it was a bit of a setback. Uh, maybe I think I will need help there. Uh, the issue of uh, getting data, that is the, the official data, maybe from the government or from these NGOs, so that we date the articles that are already there. I think the problem was with these hierarchies. We ended up not even getting there. So I think that was something personal. Maybe I was a bit impatient, but I think the hierarchies on my side were a bit too much for me to get that information. And it was a bit of a setback. And that's why we end up saying, okay, fine, maybe next time. But maybe the next time we need to know how to get there so that they understand us and what we want to do. I think that's what I can say. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Sorry about the setback, Sitle, but I'm glad your community was able to push through. So a huge congratulation to all five of you and all the other organizers. I look forward to the reports and reading um, the outcome. And yeah, so thank you so much for sharing. And over to you, Ayla. Everyone, uh, this project was um, quite difficult from the oh sure. Sorry, can you, Lawrence? Do you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. You had uh, you were off for uh, just a second. Oh, can everyone hear me? That sounds good. Yes. You can hear you. Yes, yes, we can hear you. All right, fabulous. Um, I just wanted to say a massive congrats. Uh oh, we can Is hear you. Is it just again. me? It's, it's yeah. not just me, right? Cut. It's cutting. She's frozen. Maybe Florence, can you take over? Because it's. 
Uh, yes. Um, I have no idea what Ayla was going to say, <laughs> so it's going to be a challenge. Uh, if Is it Ayla, better if without have... video? Maybe you can try. I, I don't know. Just try. I know that uh, I wanted to say thank you very much. We've had a result um, considering the have Okay, it seems that it's challenging. So I'm going to try to okay. close then. Um, yes, overall it was, uh, well, I don't know if you know, but this is a, a project which was proposed initially from uh, a group of uh, people from uh, Wikimedia Foundation, um, from African Union, uh, African No Filter. Uh, so it, it was a group of people who actually suggested that we host all these activities around the second this second special day so there was the youth day and some of you participated to the youth day in november there was the the this wangari matai day in march and the project will uh feature the third special day starting tomorrow or in two days i think says maybe you you will be able to tell us more about the africa day so it's a collection of three special day and uh the wikimedia foundation and uh african union have been discussing having this project be run again next year so maybe it was a, a sort of a pilot everything was done a little bit late even the approval to host this project was a little bit late. So sometimes it was a little bit challenging, but altogether, uh, I must say I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased. And I think the entire team is very pleased with what we went through um, and the result of it. And I'm not saying this was easy. Uh, there, it was also the opportunity to identify some very specific uh, difficulties, such as the difficulties around the article deletion, Again, about the IP blocking, the money transfer, all those things were interesting takeaway. So we are happy at the same time of the takeaway, the stories and the outcome, such as the article about climate in RDC is the big thing. So thank you from all of us. Um, what I cannot tell you, but Noni can show you, we have planned. Yeah, hopefully we will have more time next year uh, for better preparation, all of us, I hope. But what we know is that there is still a lot to do in relation to climate and climate change. So still quite a, a lot we could do in the future. And as it was mentioned earlier, uh, the problem with the pollution, the waste release, uh, and all these topics related to environment, it's an endless topic. So hopefully we will continue. We have prepared a collection of certificate of, appro uh, of appreciation for all the organizer and team that worked with the organizers. Wow. So it's OB being displayed because we would like to give a special thank you to OB. But of course, there will be a certificate of appreciation for every one of you. Every one of you did great. So all of you will get such a certificate. We had to, to select one person to display. And this is OB, our special person today. And um, I think that's about yay. it. If anyone. Yay! <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, but all of you will get one, I promise. It's, uh, it's fun. It's, the plan is there with a special signature from Ayla. Uh, so there you go. Congratulations, all of us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so I don't know who is trying to speak up. There's a big wobbly thing. Sorry, I'm not yeah. Nani, do you want to, to close all of this, please? Sure. Let me mute. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, just thank you so much to everyone, to the organizers and participants. Congratulations on behalf of Wiki in Africa and the Cote d'Ivoire uh, Wikimedia User Group. Thank you all um, for all your efforts. Um, and we really, really just are very excited for starting something that I know is bound to continue. Um, here's to increasing um, Africa knowledge. So yes, I'm very, very excited to see, I'll go visit the DRC um, pages and see what, what, what continues there, but I'm very, very excited. And thank you so much once again. Congratulations. Congratulations. And if it's possible for you to switch on your camera, then we can try to do a group photo.
It looks okay. so for some of you who have the camera, this is your time, your shining time. Yeah. I'm shining the most. <laughs> and you're shining the most. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, thank you. Let's try to oh. take some pictures of this. When I'm right. Clementine, ça va. Ça va très bien, il sent. <laughs> Let's try to do oh. this. And if you want to do some wow signs, we can take the wow signs. It's always complicated. <laughs> w. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wish we will see many of you either either at Wikindaba or at the Wiki Convention Francophone uh, during uh, this coming year. So either in September or November. And um, well, if not in some other opportunities. Yes, just let us know so that we'll start getting ready. I want to see Seychelles from Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tishke, can you show yourself? She's there. I yeah. want to see Florence. Yes, I want to yes, see her. I'm here. We I'm only here. see your teeth. <laughs> ah! I'm here. <laughs> Noni, Noni, I'm going to frame your photo. Don't worry. I wish uh -oh. I had electricity. Noni, come to I don't even have electricity <laughs> for light. <laughs> Low shade. Sorry, Noni. Oh. Sorry. Very unlucky. <laughs> I, can't, I can't move my screen anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah it's working. So, WW, yeah. WW. Anyway, <laughs> in celebration of all of us without camera, without microphone, with the neighbors, with the dogs, with the, the, the uh, whatever, donkey, and without electricity and without internet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we can do it. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Nice Thank working you, with everyone. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for working you. Bye. with you. Bye. 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 Bye.